So, you know, this is 22 year old kid coming in here with this problem. Like what, how, how does that conversation happen? You say, Hey, I believe you kind of don't believe you. You need surgery. You need surgery right away. I'm doing surgery tomorrow. How do you frame that conversation with him? Yeah. So, you know, first of all, I, I agree with a lot of the things that Dane said. And, you know, I, I am still surprised at how many places, institutions, clinics, x-ray departments don't do axillary reviews on patients. You know, they get like two views of a, of a traumatic shoulder. And, you know, I think, you know, the light bulb sign, the, the overlap that we saw on the AP view uh, sometimes can tell you these, you know, you've got the glenoid uh, humeral overlap there, so it's obviously dislocated. But, you know, I think that if you don't do an axillary review, you can't defend that. It's it's something which we should be doing on all patients, especially traumatic, and and uh, even if they have difficulty moving their arms. So having said that, you know, I, I would have similar discussions with you. Obviously, you know, the three E's, epilepsy, ethanol, and uh, electricity, trying to sort, of sort out uh, which was involved here. And it sounds like uh, he has seizure disorder. So I suspect that that's what happens. And the thing with seizure disorders, whether it's dislocated posteriorly or anteriorly, is as they seize, they continue to move that humeral head against the glenoid and often make the bone defect fairly large at the time. So that I, I often see a lot of these patients, even if it's the first time it's ever happened, with a fairly large hill sacs or reverse hill sacs lesion that probably needs to be attended to uh, in addition to any sort of soft tissue type procedures that you're thinking about doing uh, for this patient. So I have a discussion, we talk about it, we talk about a seizure disorder, are they, you know, uh, how long has he had the seizure disorder? Are they well controlled? How many seizures does he have? Because that also impacts your surgical procedure. Uh, 